Okay, progress update on the, I don't know what to call it, the Prox project, right? So here we go, this is what I've gotten done over the last day or two or a few days, however long it's been. Got the front suspension stuff on. I uh, tried to test fit the motor, it doesn't clear the bulkhead. Obviously that needs clearance for the oil pump. That uh, torque stop there sticks out too far. That doesn't work with the big block motor, so I figured that out. All the steering stuff, except for the link from the post itself to the steering rack is in and hooked up. She saw it. Just need pop coat roots in. But other than that, it's all bolted on. Heat exchangers, stock ones put back in. I put a rear section of the tunnel on for the 121 that's going to go in it. Don't mind that motor. That's a spare 800 I got sitting around. I started taking the rear suspension apart because, yeah, I'm on a 121 this. I'm not putting it It's a trash can. I am not putting the 151 back in this sled. Now here's the issue. I bought this set of rails, right? Bought these. They were supposed to be for Pro X, old Iron Dog race sled stuff. These are clearly different. I have a Pro X rail here. A couple of holes are kind of, or holes are kind of egged out, which is why I don't want to run these. So I had a good comparison. Different. So basically. I ended up with this set. These are legitimate brand, like not from the store brand new, but my dad gave me these because I thought about it. He bought a 2004 Pro X2 700 brand new, still has it, right? He put one ride on it and then took these out, made it a 136. So these are virtually brand new 04 Pro X rails one right on him so he actually gave these to me super thankful and uh, I'm glad I thought about that cuz like hey you long check your said right you still got those uh, 121 or else I don't know I'll go look in the shed bam there they were hooked me up super stoked so now I need to put all that on these and uh, and uh, yeah also, I needed a drive shaft. I don't know if I showed you guys this, but uh, the end of this drive shaft twisted. That thing's about to break. Not only that, with the 04 Pro X2, used the big diameter drive shaft where every other Pro X used a smaller diameter drive shaft, kind of like the uh, the older sleds, stuff like that. Solid steel, where this is more like newer stuff. And honestly, the solid steel ones are probably stronger those are just held on with rivets and yeah not super impressed um so yeah i ended up buying it a, actually one of my old sleds it's a 04 rmk 800 and uh motor blew up a couple years ago i sold it way before that but ended up buying that back for 200 bucks i'm gonna use dry shaft out of it for this pro x i'm gonna part the rest of the rmk out and uh yeah so that's kind of where i'm at i'm uh here, let's go back to the sled. I'm just slowly picking away, making progress. I'm trying to get suspension, everything done, get this thing set back up on its own. I am gonna have those trailer arms powder coated. It's just, I'm mocking everything up, getting everything together. And then when it comes time to make things pretty, like the trailing arm, that will come later. But for now, my main focus is getting the whole sled together and operational. And then from there, I'll worry about the aesthetics of the sled and try to find better shocks for it and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, literally my goal is I want to have the cleanest Pro X around. I mean, the motor's spotless. The chassis is literally spotless, has 10 miles on it. The rails I'm putting on, I don't know how many miles, but they only have one ride on them. So probably less than 100 miles on these. I mean, the plastic isn't grooved even for the spring. You know what I mean? You get a couple hundred miles and you get grooves in there. The hype axe is literally brand new. And that's, you know, the same hype axe that would come on your sled brand new in 2004. So that's super cool. Super glad. 
Um, this thing went from being really frustrating, um, having a hard time finding parts, having the wrong parts that I spent money for, to everything's just kind of coming together and I'm just, I'm, I'm glad it's coming together. I don't know exactly why I'm building this sled. I don't really have a purpose for it, but I think it's a really fun project and I've kind of, ever since I was, you know, a teenager, wanted a 440 race sled with the 700 in it. And you know, now it's, these deals just keep falling in my lap. Like I bought this chassis for a hundred bucks. You know, it might've been a year ago or whatever, but I'm just slowly been gathering parts and uh, you know, parts that it comes across, it's cheap and it's got everything I need. And it's uh, just finally come together. So, all right, so I stayed up a little longer and I did put the wrist kit together. So, I still gotta put an axle and uh, blocks back here. And the track tension bolts and all that, but for the most part, it's done. I'm calling it a night. God, I need better shocks. These are garbage. But that's it. I'm over it. Till next time.